The following contest is a submission match. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. Wow, this arena has come completely unglued. The fans have been demanding this one-on-one -on -one contest, and here it is. And approaching the ring from New York City, New York, weighing in at 290 pounds, JBL. Well, this superstar has all the tools needed to win this one. Now let's see if he can put them together. Whoa, looking to be in phenomenal shape heading into this one. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. If you haven't done it yet, check out WWE.com, you'll find updates and blogs from all your favorite superstars. Yeah, and don't forget to check us out on Twitter. It's at Jerry Lawler and at Michael Cole. Right, Michael Cole? Yeah, that's original. You know, John Cena's one of those guys that you could say was born to perform. I mean, he grew up in a house with four brothers and a dad who's a huge WWE fan. The Cena brothers were always beating up on each other. They practically had their own WWE business right there in the basement. John had already built his own set of moves by the time he hit puberty. Just out of those battles with his brothers. What do you think about John Cena? What hasn't been said already? Everybody's talking the unbelievable potential we're witnessing here. Let's just sit back and enjoy. A knockdown drag out brawl complete with a big stomp. And these guys are throwing bombs. They're pulling out all the stops. I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. You know, King, we've heard John Cena talk about his family background and how all those experiences with his brothers and fathers shaped him into the superstar he is today. Right. And on one crazy episode of Monday Night Raw, when Randy Orton attacked Cena's dad, we really got to see how much family means to John Cena. Oh, you're right, Michael. That really did push Cena to a whole new level of ferocity. For all the battles Cena and Orton had had over the years, it didn't seem possible that things could get any more heated. But when his dad got a beatdown from Orton on national TV, it turned John Cena into an entirely different kind of mania. No kidding.
These competitors will always be looking to unleash their finishing maneuver, and when that happens, the complexion of the match can change in a heartbeat. You're right about that. The entire match can end in a heartbeat if somebody hits their big move. You just know JBL has evil intentions in mind every time he winds up for that clothesline from hell. Oh, the reversal by JBL. Oh, wow. This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? That's important. It doesn't take a freaking genius to see that John Cena's really on a roll in there. This is one of those times where the determination, power, and ability of John Cena are fully realized. You know, King, we've heard John Cena talk about his family background and how all those experiences with his brothers and fathers shaped him into the superstar he is today. Right. And on one crazy episode of Monday Night Raw, when Randy Orton attacked Cena's dad, we really got to see how much family means to John Cena. Oh, you're right, Michael. That really did push Cena to a whole new level of ferocity. For all the battles Cena and Orton had had over the years, it didn't seem possible that things could get any more. Hamill clutch locked in, wrenching on the neck and lower back. I don't believe the destruction we're seeing. This guy's just going from one painful move to another. to figure out a way to get to his base and break the hole. Hey, now! Seems like these guys are letting out a lot of pent-up frustration tonight. These submission matches are so physical. I mean, it's not just about making your opponent tap. You have to absolutely punish them before you even think about locking in a submission hold. Well, you're right, Cole, but they're... Oh, man, that's one of his favorites, and I can see why. Well, when you look at the illustrious career of John Cena starting way back in 2002, and since then, 21 championships, an astounding accomplishment, and never a dull moment. Oh, you're right about that. And don't forget the 15 world championships. 11 reigns, of course, as the WWE champion. JBL reverses it. Target the on now. to the ropes. Here we go. Here we go. He's hanging out for dear life. Here we go. Here we go. He's hanging out for dear life. Oh, man. Look at his face. The pain has to be... Whoa! Would you look at this? Can you believe it? This is an undying will to succeed. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there, but only one... Submission hole's locked in, and he's in big trouble. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. I understand the idea of being relentless, but I think most would agree repeating a specific move is an unorthodox approach. Well, this guy seems to think it's going to work. John Cena with a nice reversal. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole. What's he going to do here? What a dangerous move, King. That's like putting everything on the line. Yeah, your neck's too delicate for something like that. Direct hits like that help put your opponent away fast and early. Oh, what a shot. 
That did some serious damage. You can't take too many of those and expect to be in the match much longer. Look out what's going on here. What a brutal way to take someone off their feet. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that was quite the slam, wasn't it, Cole? This could be all she wrote. Incredible move by John Cena. The ebb and flow of this match is just incredible. What a finishing move. This could be it right here. Good job getting to the ropes there. Oh, out of nowhere! Camel clutch locked in.